watching the news because we are having a blizzard <laughs> and I am the first one to say that I love snow but I think I stuck my foot in my mouth but anyway so if you are on the east coast you will know that there is a massive blizzard going on and in that blizzard I braved the, the weather to go to my Mac <laughs> and get my collection because I was not going to wait till tomorrow and chance that someone else braved it and got it before me. So two collections were launched today. One was the uh, Charm Palais and the other one was Stylishly Yours. Stylishly Yours. Um, so I got five items from each collection and I'm going to give you my overall review of them and explain the products to you. So I'm going to start off with the Palais Charm. Okay. Now, first and foremost, the chromographic liners were such a big hit, I guess they had to bring it back. And I was so upset because I had missed them the first go around because I didn't think they were anything special, that I had to have one. So, I got the one in NC40, um, NC43, what's the other color? NW30. Um, and I actually have it swatched here on my hand. I don't know if you can see it there. But basically, it's a skin tone, flesh toned um, pencil that you can use. It's great for highlighting or defining your brows once you put the powder on. It's great for inside the eye, the water lines, and things of that sort. Now, these are a little different from the other ones that came out because this one has an all black one. I guess it's a little bit different from the last one. But basically, it is the same thing. And I think these are awesome and they should be permanent. I do believe they are permanent at the pro stores, which is found, I know, in my area in NYC. But if you don't have a pro store near you, I do. I'm just too lazy to go there. Um, then this is a good time to get these and stock up on them. And these are $14.50. Next, there were paint pots. Now, as you know, MAC has systematically gotten rid of all the good paint pots that they had. And I didn't know what the heck was going through MAC's mind. I still don't. But what can we do, right? So in this collection, it came out with four brand new paint pots. Now, these paint pots were a little bit different from ones that we've seen in the past because they are very sheer. Um, they can be used as bases still, but they're very sheer, um, not like the opaque colors that we're used to. So you can either love that or you can hate it. I'm in the middle because I, I'm not a glitter shimmer person, but if you're packing shadows on top of these and using them as bases, it kind of just help enhance that eyeshadow. So yeah, we're in the middle. So the one that we like the most, okay, find it. And we're actually wearing it on our eyes now is Chilled on Ice. And it is just a pale gold beige with like a gold to it. Okay, I hope you can see that. Let's block the light out. But that's actually the color of it right there. Okay, so it's like a very pale color. And I'm actually wearing it on my top lid. So you can see these are very, very, very opaque. I just applied one coat of it. But it just looks beautiful. It's like a golden color once you really work it in and put it on. The next color that I really love is Dangerous Curve. And this is a is a silver, but I see purple and like all multicolor shimmers in it. So this is an awesome, 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 awesome color. The next one is Let Me Pop, which is like a peach shimmer. And I'm a little torn by this one, but I have a feeling I'm going to keep it because it's a paint pot and I love paint pots. <laughs> and this next one is Vintage Select, which is like a pinky mauvish with silver undertones to it. Nothing pretty special about this color. But as I said, they are very, very shimmery. Um, I haven't seen, they're very creamy, not like the paint pots that we're used to. Um, I like the old formula. I'll see if I like the new one. 
Now, the other collection that came out, which was Stylishly Yours, was all about bright and in-your-face colors. It was basically purples, pink, like a bright fuchsia pink, red, um, orange, like that was the theme of this one. So I stuck to, they had the purple and the pink. I mean, not the pink, the coral or orange. So I did get two of the cream color base. I was a little disappointed and I should have known better, but these are not safe for the eyes. It doesn't mean you can't use them or people aren't going to use them on the eyes. It's just saying that MAC is not responsible if you go blind. <laughs> but this one right here is the Matley Magenta. And this one, the orange, is Virgin Isle. So let's start with the Madly Magenta. And I use this one as a lip stain and it really works well as a lip stain. Okay, look at that. And this is also a pro color. As you can see, I did swatch it. And if I swatch it on my finger, get a clean finger, that is how it shows up. Swatched on my arm, that's it right there very bright color but it comes straight off with some um, makeup wipes the other color is virgin isle and it is a corally orange color okay and we have not even swatched this one yet so let's take a and that is how it looks on the finger. And that is how it looks once swatched. Very, very bright colors. Like I said, under eyeshadow, you're going to be able to tell me nothing. <laughs> So, but like I said, these are not safe for the eyes, so if you do use them, it is at your own risk, okay? I also decided to get a pigment, and I've got Follow Your Fancy, which was the corally orangey color, or the orange. It's more orange to me. Orange with a sheen. And this is the pigment. Beautiful orange color. I can't wait to do a look with it. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it and pack it on top of that base. And you can't even see it. Huh. It blends right into it. So, it's just a very corally orange color. I love it though. And I have nothing like it in my collection. So... It's a welcome addition. The other colors that came with this collection were all permanent, um, except for one, the red one, and I know I'm not going to use a red pigment, so kind of left it. And the last thing was it came with two lipsticks, or I got two lipsticks. Four came with this collection. So I got the neon orange to stick with the orange and the purple theme that I got going on here. So this is the neon orange. And if I don't, and if I'm not wrong, this is an amplified cream. Okay. Bright as all he's y'all. And this is Style Curve, which is that purple one that looks so awesome on the site. And it is a pretty purple. Just gotta have some cojones to wear it. And there's that purple. It's actually a plum. That's the true color right there. It's a plummy purple. I actually have a lipstick on now, but let's put this on top of it. Just darken that up a little bit. Cute. 
like to me when you mix it with a lighter color it makes just the perfect purple for me um, I don't know if I would wear this by itself but hey so that was a look at the two collections that came out today um, if you're interested in seeing more, make sure you check out Simtalia because you know she always gives the banging swatches and the best descriptions. I base most of my purchases by her reviews. But other than that, bye my beauties. <laughs>